I have a case recently uh, come in, a female manager, and in this particular case, uh, you know, she was, she was not a, uh, how shall I say, a wallflower. She was not a princess in any event, in any stretch of the imagination. She participated in a lot of the conversation, but then it went too far. It went too far and it stepped over the bounds to where uh, one person was propositioning her for sexual acts and retaliating against her when she didn't go along. So that's the kind of thing that you have to watch out for. So, you know, sexual jokes, remarks about a person's body or physical appearance. You know, it's, it's okay to say to someone, hey, you look really nice today. But the way you say it too can be different. Saying, hey, you look really nice today versus, hey, you look really hot, man, you are smoking. I mean, the way you say something can make a big difference as well. Distribution of pornographic materials, obviously not cool. Uh, any unwelcome flirtation advances, you know, it's not, no crime to ask somebody out if they want to go out with you, go out and have a coffee, drink dinner, whatever. But if they say no, that's it. You don't ask them a second or third time or fourth time or start giving them a hard time because they don't want to go out with you. Inappropriate gestures, even nonverbal communication, the looking up and down with eyes, you know, there's a lot that can be said without saying anything. So all of this kind of behavior are behaviors that could potentially become in a, into a situation where it's in a hostile work environment. If this type of repetitive behavior goes on, it can get you into trouble if it's not addressed. 